This is our gym. It's called Third Street Barbell. It's made to home and house a community of like-minded individuals. I have this all written down and memorized. You guys happy? Of people who want to get better, stronger, and maybe make some friends. I like to lift weights. I like video games. I went to bed at one o'clock and I've been up since six. I have nothing in my stomach except a rock star. Rockstar and Dry Ritz Crackers. Official day seven. I believe we got the keys midday last Tuesday. 10 hours a day, 70 hour a week. 70 hour work week. Plus emails. I'm tired. So step one was uh, sit around in in paralysis by analysis to not know what to do. Step two was figure out that there's too much to do. And then step three is start doing. So we literally just pressure wash this entire place, top to bottom, left to right, like three times. Um, and then be painting began. We probably started painting. I don't even know anymore. I'm so lost. Four days ago? Four days. Probably not bad. Four days to paint this whole thing. And we're on, we're just calling them A-side, B-side. So we have A-side over here, which is probably, I don't know, 4,000 square foot. And then B-side, that's probably 1,000 square foot plus. Entire space is near 6,000 square foot. Rafters, good shape, but extremely dirty. So we had to literally soak, scrub, soap the crap out of all of them and obviously you have square footage of the roof is the same square footage of the ground so we had a lot to do walls were dirty but not insane a couple pressure washers later it looked okay this whole side took two coats of paint um, and overall looks pretty good the walls are tall so painting wasn't like the easiest task but we're in the zone uh, the opposite side some of the paint is dense there's like blacks and dark reds and and graffitis so Hopefully two layers will get her done, um, and we just we just touched that up. Meanwhile, on the back end, um, insane amount of emails. As, as many of you probably heard, you know, people rushed and bought every piece of fitness equipment under the sun as soon as COVID and the lockdown hit. So manufacturers and, and equipment's a little slim to come by. Luckily, we got a lot of homies out there, so I'm communicating with a couple of companies on what would be the best fit for our needs, uh, our budgets, and what's going to serve our members best and so that's number one is trying to make it look cool while being highly functional right doesn't have to be perfect but i want it to be pretty so talking to a couple uh, uh equipment companies um and then designing clothes that's where my time has been it's literally been physically here painting and designing the first launch that is third street athletics um and that's on the way so big meeting this morning finally finalizing some pieces for the 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 clothing, uh, you guys know I'm into it. Uh, I did a Q and A yesterday for the podcast. The first thing is where'd you get all, where you get all your dope tees. Um, I'm not Tom Ford. I'm not Mugatu. I mean, I am. Blue Steel, Ferrari, Latigra, they're the same face. I'm trying to be the Mugatu of the fitness athleisure game because these kids don't know anymore dude kids don't recognize that movie's ahead of its time i am mugatu i'm gonna switch my twitter handle to mugatu today so i'm trying to fit you head to toe man keep you looking right feeling good um with functional clothing that brings a style to the fitness game that i don't think i have ever seen that doesn't fit my taste you know my, my background's a little bit in basketball and kind of that culture streetwear hip-hop world is what i grew up with um, that's kind of close. I kind of rock. Obviously, I'm not very stylish right now. Is this the grossest t-shirt? Give this a thumbs up if this is the grossest t-shirt you've ever seen. Give this thing a thumbs up if this is the grossest t-shirt ever. Be sure to subscribe if this is the grossest t-shirt ever. And also turn on notifications if this is, in fact, the grossest t-shirt you've ever seen. And I washed it two days ago. Um, so, painting will be done. Uh, the floor is in original shape this building was made in the 60s um, so it's a very original concrete 
Uh, now we can't make it perfect. We're not gonna make it so you can eat off of it, but we're gonna get rid of some of the imperfections and we're gonna grind this entire thing down. Jim McDee, my business partner, my homie, said it best in the podcast yesterday, which is out, 50% facts, um, that we, we're doing much more than building a gym. One, I think we're starting a evolution of what powerlifting and strength gyms will look like. But most importantly right now, we're in renovation. We're doing a full reno. Uh, we're not just buying a building, planting a squat rack in here and charging you a membership. We're renovating this space and elevating this space to what it, it never has been. And I think we're elevating um, what I think the expectations of a strength gym, community, powerlifting, and the clothing aspect to a new level. Um, will we have some basic stuff? Sure. I'm not saying I'm the great, I'm not Mugatu yet. I'll elevate myself there. But we're not just taking every single t-shirt and just the same t-shirt every other company does and just putting our logo on it in red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Um, we're trying to really create some, some culture about the strength game. Strength game, like anything else, it is a mixture of people. It's made for everyone, but it can have its own culture as well. And that's what I think it's lacking. And that's something why I, I don't identify with the strength game. I don't identify as a power lifter or whatever. And that's another question, a uh, very common question I got is, why don't you feel that? Uh, what's going to be different about your gym and your clothing from other gyms? And why have you never been able to identify with those places? And I think a lot of it is just the culture and the vibe. Um, the angry guy that's bashing his head against the wall. I go to therapy for that. I lift weights because I enjoy it. Sure, it helps out some of that energy that us humans need to get out and helps my mental state. But I go to therapy for my mental state. I don't sniff ammonia until I can't think for my mental state. I'm a regular dude. I like playing video games. I like cars. I like fashion. I love hip hop music. And that's not your stereotype powerlifter. And I think now that powerlifting's big, there's a lot of you that are similar to me. So this space, this gym, we're going to elevate what it means in terms of the showers, the bathrooms, the service, the look, the feel, the, the benefits you get of being a member. And then on the clothing side, and it's for everyone. The, the lifting is for everyone. And that's why I love powerlifting. The fashion side may not be for you, may not be your style, but we'll always have a piece or two that's a little bit calmer, a little bit more normal, that can kind of rock with everybody. So... Um, I'm gonna sand this wood down, try to make it look pretty. We gotta wait three hours, we're gonna repaint the other side. We're taking tomorrow off for a mental health day. Jim has some appointments, so I'm gonna catch up on my email work and probably sleep, I haven't slept at all. And then uh, chip away at this ground Friday, so um, time to sand.